Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are inside a big IP. Uh, today we're going to look at URL redirects. A lot of people use iRules for URL redirects, but you don't have to. You can use policies for this. And in fact, we did a video on this uh, a while back uh, with an earlier version of the big IP, but today we're going to do an updated version because the user interface has, uh, has been updated uh, fairly significantly. Uh, I am in version 13.1 today. One of the uh, one of the things I was going to say too about policies versus I rules is uh, policies are typically faster than I rules, and frankly, they're a little easier to manage because you don't have to know the you know the syntax of tickle and you know all the coding stuff and all that stuff. So you can uh, you know it's a little little easier to uh, to manage policies than it is I rules. Uh, so I just want to make sure uh, we go over uh, what to do on all that. So this is my big IP. I have a virtual server, HTTP vir virtual. It has a pool, and these are all the different pool members that serve up a web page. And I'm going to click on this. Uh, it's at test.com, and there is the web page that, uh, that this virtual server is serving up. Okay, what we want to do is if anyone visits this virtual server uh, at test.com, we want to redirect them to... Of course, Dev Central. Because why would you redirect someone to any other site than Dev Central, right? So, the question is, how we do that? How how do we do that? Uh, so, this is a simple redirect. You want to say anyone that visits this virtual server, redirect them to Dev Central. All right. The first thing we do is we go in here to Policies under Local Traffic. Go to Policies, and you'll notice that there are draft policies and published policies. When you go to create a new policy, you create that under the draft policy uh, tab. So this, without going into all the details of the policies, you can actually create a lot of policies, put some of them in draft, some of them in published, and the published ones are the ones that are going to be available for you to use. Uh, so, but the draft ones, of course, you can kind of mess around with them and all that before you make them published. All right, so we're going to go in here to create, and we're going to call this URL redirect. I'd already typed that in. That's why it auto-populated uh, there. Okay, I'm going to call it URL redirect. Execute on first matching rule. You can actually select first or all or best, uh, and you can go into the strategies of the policies up here. You can get into that in a different. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that at a different time, uh, but this one is going to be the first matching rule that that hits. Uh, it's going to execute for this policy, and we're going to create the policy. So there it goes. It's going to chunk through and do its thing. Okay, so now we have a policy named URL redirect. Uh, that's going to execute the first matching rule. So now we need to add a rule to this thing. So we're going to over, go over here to create and uh, we're going to name this. I'm going to name it Dev Central um, Redirect because we're going to redirect to Dev Central in this case. Uh, name it whatever you want. You can put a description if you want. You don't have to. In this case, every bit of traffic that visits this virtual server, we want to do the redirect on. And so this part right here of the rule allows you to modify or create conditions for the different traffic. In our case, like I said, it's all traffic. I'll hit the plus sign here just to show you some options. You could say when one of these things, there's a whole bunch of these you can see, um, you know, meets a, a certain condition, then you take action once that condition is met. Uh, but again, we want all the traffic to be redirected. So I'm going to hit the minus sign, get that out of there, and it defaults to all traffic. Okay, so at all traffic, when all traffic comes into this virtual server, what do we want to do? Um, we want to create a rule. And we're simply going to click this down arrow and say redirect to location https devcentral.f5.com at the request time and hit save. And so now we have this devcentral redirect rule inside of our URL redirect policy. Uh, which, by the way, this whole first matching rule thing, you can create more and more and more rules. So you can have a whole ton of rules you know, listed here. Uh, that's why this first thing could become important uh, so that as the traffic you know, goes down each of these different rules, the first one that it matches, it's going to execute on that one. So um, anyway, so you can, you can kind of get crazy with that stuff. Uh, but in this case, we're only doing this one. All right, so instead of save draft, because we know that this thing is ready to, ready to rock and roll, we're going to go ahead and hit that down arrow and say save and publish. So we're going to take it straight on into published um, 
the published mode. So it is now a published policy, URL redirect. So now we need to associate this policy with the virtual server. So I'm going to go back into the virtual server uh, list here. I'm going to click on the virtual server. I'm going to go up to the resources tab here and uh, notice you can manage iRules and then manage policies here uh, for the virtual server. So I'm going to say manage on policies. We just created that URL redirect policy. I'm going to enable it, hit finished, and now it is enabled on that virtual server. So I'm going to go back to my uh, website here. I'm going to hit inspect so we can see the, uh, the performance here of what happened. So if I go to test.com now, I'm not going to go to test. I'm going to get redirected to, F, or to uh, Dev Central. So let's see what happens. Boom. And there it goes. So Dev Central loads a whole ton of stuff. I'm going to scroll back up here so you can see a 302 redirect and it went to Dev Central. So that is the, uh, that is the redirect, uh, you know, that you can do with a policy. Um, one other thing that uh, a couple of people have asked about is what if there is no default pool uh, enabled for that virtual server and the answer is you can go up here to the resources tab on your virtual server and you can say none take that pool out hit update and it will still redirect so uh, so anyway wanted to wanted to note that as well if there's a pool um, enabled and the pool is down whether it's administratively disabled or the pool members are down and so the pool's down um, then it will not redirect if it's uh, if the if the pool itself is uh, is down for whatever reason, uh, but you can take the pool out completely uh, this way, and the redirect will still happen. So, uh, so that's a another cool thing to uh, to kind of note there. So, uh, so hey, you can do redirects um, with policies and not have to mess with all the I rule syntax and all the rest. And uh, and it's a, it's a pretty simple thing to to manage. So, thanks for hanging in there with us today, and join us next time when we get back inside the Big IP.